So as sad as it may sound, he found a screwdriver inside there and just started carving like his final words and his will and everything he ever wanted to say to his wife and kids. And the next morning, he was found dead inside the refrigerator car. And people started to realize what had happened. They saw the scratching on the walls, you know, the dents made by his fist, and the screwdriver writing down his whole life story and everything to his wife and his kids. But there was one peculiar thing that stood out. Now the thing was, the refrigerator cart was actually broken. The temperature did not go below 50 degrees. And it was actually a very shocking story. This is a true story, if you can look it up. He didn't die because of the weather. He died because he worried himself, had a heart attack, and just went into shock. And this is pretty fascinating to know that sometimes our minds can play tricks on us. And he had all the evidence to see that he was going to die, the temperature was down. But it wasn't the temperature that killed him. It was actually his thoughts. And uh, I was just boggled by this story because I realized how powerful the mind is and how much everybody else has even discussed how much the mind state affected their success. Because Ruse, Pat, Martin, they all knew what to do and they've tried, they struggled, but it was something that was missing. And once they got the mindset right, all of a sudden their goals are going to hold the meaning. So there's actually a study done on the mind and fitness. And this, the next part I'm going to is how your mind is actually making you fat. There was a recent Harvard study done, and it was 80 housekeepers. Half of the housekeepers were taken into a small room just like this and told that all the work they were doing, cleaning, making beds, toilets, all that was going to go towards their exercise quota. The other half, 40 of them were not given a seminar. They weren't told these things. Basically, they just said, hey, just go to work and do what you have to do. One seminar, that's all. After one month, the group that was told that cleaning toilets and making beds and doing the houseworking duties was implemented into their exercise quota actually lost weight. They lost inches, their cholesterol dropped, and they had a significant difference in their fitness. And this is an actual Harvard study done on the psychology of fitness and how much a person's mindset not just involves their motivation and inspiration, but also their body composition of how you can actually lose fat, drop your cholesterol, and lose inches by having more of what is called top of the mind awareness. Basically, understanding that what I'm doing is going to help my health. And same thing with uh, John's story and the housekeepers, you realize how much the mind has an effect on not just your fitness, but all your, your overall longevity. So I'm going to talk about one of my clients named Barbara. Barbara had a similar issue. That's not a picture, by the way. <laughs> but I'm just trying to share her frustration. Now, Barbara, for many, many years, was trying to lose weight. And same old story. Tried every type of diet there is. Low carb. South Beach, pickle juice, every single diet, no results. Same thing, workouts, tried different types, and couldn't make any results. So basically, she came to me. I actually did a um, test study, because I created this fitness app, and it's like a software that keeps people accountable. At the same time, goes into their life and goes into their mind, because I found, like I said, the mind is extremely important. Now, Barbara, I mean, she never even came to my gym. Basically, she just went into my pilot study of what I did with my new software, and it was pretty incredible because I took a small group of people. A lot of times whenever I try a new diet or I try a new supplement that I've created or a new type of program, I start up with a beta group of people. So I take like eight to 10 people and I put them through it. And I see in one month, 
whichever results they get. And the great thing is they're from all different walks of life, men, women, different ages. And then based on that, I, like a scientist, take the results and then fine tune it to my next program. So I had a program that's called uh, Lean Buddy. It's actually a software that I created. And in the month of March, I put a small group of people on them. I implemented a lot of things that I learned through my psychological studies, but also what keeps people accountable because habits are very important. So amazingly enough, the first week, Barbara lost six pounds. And this wasn't just Barbara. It was everybody got results because I documented this thing extremely closely. I had each person weigh themselves in at the end of the week and share the results with me. After the first month, she lost 21 pounds. And it just boggled my mind because she wasn't alone. Everybody lost weight. And I mean, I was just floored by the amount of results because the average weight loss in this group was about 15 to 20 pounds. The people that did this program 100%. And the amazing thing is, um, half the people weren't even my clients, meaning they didn't come into my gym. I just put the beta program and they did the workouts at home. They followed the, the, the uh, nutrition program that I gave them. And you know, there's a few people in this room that actually followed the program. And I don't want to embarrass uh, Lisa, but she just told me she did the program from March 1st to I March 3rd. Yes. Since March 1st, you have 38 pounds. 38 pounds in one month. So. It's incredible and I mean I've been in this industry for 10 plus years and I've tried everything and I, I'm shocked by it too because I've never gotten such results off a program. Uh, Lisa, like, what were some of the things that helped you? The accountability and doing yeah. everything at home. I work full time, I have three boys that play everything in the world. I run from work to practice to games to my husband works 24 hour shifts so dropping the kids here, there, and being able to, okay, at 8 o'clock, 7, 30 at night, do the exercises right there on the living room floor. My oldest son, who was seven, finally losing about six pounds in a month because he wanted to know what we were doing. And I told him, we start wow. again. And I've been sick for the last two weeks, so I haven't done anything. I've stayed. Actually, I lost a pound in like two and a half weeks. I haven't done anything. And my son's like, what are we doing that again? Not tonight, buddy. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> and but it's great because I do everything at home, and I feel responsible that I gotta let. I had to let AJ know, and I was. I couldn't let him down. It's easy to let myself down, but when he's emailing you and asking questions, wants your response, telling you good stories, I can't. Me as a person, let him down. So it was accountability for me, which was wonderful. Yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing, Lisa. That's incredible. I mean. You know, I've had people lose weight, but I think that's one of my biggest records. You know, 38 pounds in one month. I mean, that's incredible. And it goes to, show, goes to show you how the mindset it is so powerful and how once you get that turned on, all of a sudden you get incredible results.